Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hubcast for today. This fine day. I don't even know what the date is today. It's some day. It's, it's, it's a Friday May in May. Don't even Sorry, worry about it. I'm very it's May 19th. Uh, this episode of the Hubcast is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Whoop, whoop. We'll get chatting about them a little bit later. Uh, but as for now, we will start with the show and chat about a bunch of other random stuff. Where's my sticky note, by the way? Oh. It, you were in charge of it. Where's my sticky note? That means you what should mean? have no, it. Where did my sticky note go? Oh, I left it over it. there. Look at that. My you were in charge of your own sticky note. Whoopsie daisies. Whoopsie daisies. There we go. I have the nice... There You're we welcome. Go. There we go. Got my nice sticky note full yeah, of stuff. Yeah, seriously, you didn't even say thanks to Dan. He got it twice. Oh, thank you, Dan. Twice. I'm sorry. Do you feel My hair is green with envy. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. That green looks cool, though. Wait, come back. Your, your hair turned out a lot more vibrant than mine did. Well, did you bleach yours? Yours yes. just died. Yeah, see, he bleached his. You, you didn't bleach, bleach yours? yours? We bleached. Oh, I thought you said you didn't bleach. We bleached. Does it look like I talked you didn't to, bleach? His hair no, would not I'm just be that saying, blue. I talked to someone, and they said they didn't bleach, so that's all I remember. Ooh. Who's your source? Yeah. I thought it was Steph. I'm going to go kick the ass. No, I bleached it. I did real good. He looked like a... Clearly not Steph. Dance. Who's your source? <laughs> <laughs> it was Steph. <laughs> was it Lola? I'm confused. I would have been Steph. She bleached his hair. Why well, would you I, I remember no, no, no. talking to Steph and she was like... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I, I didn't bleach it. Like, I was like, oh, did you bleach it? And she's like, no. The just... first time we did not bleach. See, I talked to her on the phone the and she time, said, but that's no, we didn't bleach. Jordan was like, no, we don't need bleach. It'll turn out just fine. I was like, I don't know. And he's like, no, it's fine. But we just, I really so needed... So why is looking at me like I'm crazy? I remember something. Because correctly. this time I did bleach because I it was obvious that he needed to bleach. Yeah, he has a darker colored hair, so you have to. Even I have to bleach. I think of buttholes every time I hear bleach. What? Because of bridesmaids. Yeah, because they bleach their buttholes. They butthole. bleach their buttholes together. Yeah. Helen and I mean, it's 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 her. not a bad idea Sorry. if you're going just, down that I way. Just wanted to throw that out there. I'm tired and I'm having coffee. I'll be quiet in a little bit. Mountain man's a lonely man. Oh, please. Oh. Will you oh, that's my favorite, favorite resolution of oh, streams. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll take care of it. Goodness. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was just refreshing some of the, oh, the browsers. Heart. So there, there's actually something that popped up yesterday. I was trying to remember if this was possibly the latest snowfall we've had in Denver. Dan had said something about June last year. No, May is typically the last snowfall. I don't think this yeah. is the latest one. Because we, we moved here. Really? February. Well, no, because the thing is, my sister's birthday was yesterday and usually on her birthday, it's always nice. And we have pictures and we're usually having a cookout and we're in the backyard. So, the yeah, fact I was that just trying to think ground, even it's usually like, it's hell? mid to late May is the last snow. Oh. I feel like, yeah, Whoa, I'm just trying to think because I lived in Minnesota and I can't remember ever having snow this latest late. Snowfall in Denver. What is the latest snowfall in Denver? Denver 7th. I Denver, did Denver, live Denver, in Colorado when we had that nine foot snowstorm. That's it was in March of 2003, chance. I believe. Goodness. It was, nine, it was foot. nine feet. It buried my dad's car, and then the all of the snow plows pushed more snow onto my dad's car, so it had like 10 feet of snow on it. So we had to wait for it to all melt before we could even get to my dad's car. And I was like snow. digging tunnels in our front yard. It was so much fun. Yeah, when you're a kid, that kind of snow is awesome. But when you're an adult, it sucks. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes so, it does. For the last few years, last year was Maple, April 3rd. April. <laughs> Lousy March weather. Um, April 30th, 2016. Uh, May 10th, 2015. May 12th, 2014. So it's typically around April, yep. May. So you're right. Yeah. This was the latest one. But the latest. Oh. Oh, it's going to be sometime in July or something. I have to The sneeze. latest on record. Is June twelfth, nineteen forty season. June twelfth. Oh, yeah. So there hasn't 1947. been a June. No, there has. June twelfth. Yeah, but June not in our lifetime. No, not. not I've been alive that long. <laughs> Don't you know Spencer? Spencer. Spencer's an old a soul mortal? for sure. Do you ever yeah, feel like a dreams. kinship with Prince? No. Why? Prince, the artist. Yeah. The artist formerly known as Prince. <gasps> Rip. Everyone in Minnesota has kinship with Prince. What? He's from Minnesota. What? That's a thing. People in Minnesota love Prince. They love Prince, the Timberwolves, and the Vikings. That's the three things. Having lived near Myrtle about the Beach twins? Actually, Myrtle I don't Beach, know if they like the Timberwolves. I have a closer relationship to Vanna White just because you know, I love Oh, goodness. Vanna White. Beach. Spencer's an old soul. I've met her once at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. <assisted> her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here, let me help you, Vanna White. Her and whoever you she was a, with. She was you with assist Pat, J <laughs> Pat Sajak all the time. Let me assist you. Goodness, unbelievable. Anyway, a whole bunch of stuff in the entertainment side of things this week. I have stuff written down about movies, a bunch of stuff about shows. Uh, transition piece. 
Oh, she has a good transition piece. Yeah. She didn't to use ruin, it as like a transition. To ruin your transition, yeah. she has a pretty good one. And though. to ruin her own because she brought up the transition. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, well, what, what do you want to do? I, I don't understand. I'll show you. We still bring up a topic. Oh. We saw this yesterday. Oh, my the goodness. The movie. For audio Can I eat it? You bought that. a frosted cookie with a smiley face that looks like he an emoji. bought that stupid cookie just so we could talk about the emoji movie i didn't even have that on here it's an emoji cookie oh it looked my like an goodness emoji. i just i don't know it's a smiley face can i cookie. give my review of the emoji movie don't bite it just take you mean the cookie if we're gonna share it don't bite it spencer you take pieces off of it whoever said we were sharing it <laughs> spencer just took it ate it and claimed why it can't we own. just Jordan share it so my bad. goodness here, wait, anyway ready? Watch no this. i don't want any of that now no That's, right there we go look you, yeah, you there's still that. parts where you touch that. No, you, I you literally have a full broke break them all off. off. No, it doesn't uh, matter. Okay, I'll eat it all. Uh, yeah, so Emoji Movie came out. The, I watched the an trailer did, long sorry. breakdown frame by frame. <gasps> Jala, the, you should have an emoji party if it comes out on your birthday. Have an emoji themed birthday party and then you all go see the movie. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably would, and everyone have to. Okay, we're not going to waste any more time with that crap. No, emoji movie. Wait, there's Dan, no art to look into it. It's essentially no, a nothing. shittier um, Wreck It Ralph. Dan, do it. Yeah, as people were saying, Wreck It Ralph. It's kind of like Inside Out too, but shittier. I don't know. Mm. You worked at Sony. What's your what? uh, What's your uh, faith? Insight. You worked on Paul Bort Mall Cop. You worked on the movie that Sasha Baron Cohen did with uh, oh, Mark oh, Strong. Brothers Grimsby. Yeah, you were, and then I what else did you work on? Huh? What else did you work on that was a crappy movie? Uh, oh, it was a movie? Uh, yeah, well, I was script clearance, so like I wasn't like... I just would, like, uh, uh, Pixels was a big one oh. that I, when I was there. You worked on Pixels, the Brothers Grimsby. Well, and it's just like collating scripts <laughs> and like assisting. Paul like I had, Paul I, Bort, I, like, I had three bosses and I would report to those three. So whatever movies they were working on were mine mm -hmm. slash TV shows. So yeah, those mm -hmm. were probably the biggest ones. So you probably would have worked on Emoji Movie. It wasn't, it hadn't started at the time. Well, that, if you had stayed. And oh not, yeah, no. Sausage Party was the was Ooh, just starting good. when I left. Damn. I was so sad. I was like, what a shame. Happened? Yes. But yeah, emoji yeah, movie. Not a lot of uh, hype for that. I mean, but there's how do they get Patrick Stewart as a poo? How do you pitch that to Patrick Stewart? Uh, how much money do you think they gave him? They had to give him a shit load of money. <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> Can we stop talking about the emoji movie? Hey, this is the, literally the last <laughs> thing. She said it. That uh, makes the pun better. It's genuine then. A yes. shit load of money. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of discovery there was. I'm great. really tired today, so I'm gonna try to be quiet. Goodness. Go. Goodness. Somewhere okay. Go. But next? anyway, there's a, there's a bunch of oh, movies oh, coming. There is something I wanted to bring up. Okay. <laughs> this Luda. Luda. What is did Ludacris we see last night? Ludacris is the new host of She's Fear Factor. Completely okay. changing the topic. We weren't even <laughs> done with movies and you just <laughs> Because oh. last time we did the hubcast, I was like Luda. Does he start it then, off by going, by saying Luda? No. Does he have Justin Bieber? Come on, they have to be friends. Just because they did Baby together? Yeah. Well, that's how he got his big break. How can you not give Luda any, some credit? Uh, any sorry. kind of fear anyway. factor that comes on the the oh. television that doesn't have Joe Rogan in it, I want no part of. I don't know. Ball Joe Rogan was kind of weird. Joe, Joe Rogan's, Rogan's weird in general. When they brought was Joe Rogan funny? Yeah, he's stand, funny I sometimes. I don't watch his stand up, but <laughs> yeah, well, I'm talking well, about no, him as a he, host. What does he do? Oh. He's just ripped, and he's he's just Joe Rogan. I liked him yelling. I watched I his podcast, him as a and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I think his yeah, podcast did, is did pretty popular. Oh no, it's, no, his podcast is definitely oh, popular. Yeah, it might just not be my thing. That. Yeah, I only laughed at the Fear Factor jokes, and then yeah. after that, it was like he's he yells a lot. He yells, and yeah. like that's his thing. And well, I was like, I was watching when uh, Colin from Kind of Funny went on there on Joe Rogan's thing. I watched a little clip of it, and it was just yeah, and it was a little bit of Colin said something, and then it was like. Rah, rah, rah. And I was like, whoa, okay. And then I just kind of clicked out. He seems like he's on speed all the time. I mean, he has plenty of Not viewers. Not Colin, uh, Joe Rogan. That's what I was. Yeah, maybe go check it really yes. quick. I'll go check. Um, I'll get all these so, I, I, since we're on the topic of shows, like American head. Idol. Oh, jeez. Oh, American Idol's back <laughs> on ABC this time. So we're going to have to deal with that again. I can't believe they brought it back already. It wasn't gone long. that long. Like, they Let's literally announced it was then. done, and then Ryan Seacrest went to live with Kelly, and then they were like, is there going to be another American Idol? And he was like, I don't know. And then now it's back. And I was like, Yeah, hey. no, so we'll have to deal with that again. So done. Uh, Star Idol. Trek. Star Trek Discovery. Aw, oh, yeah. looks pretty good. I'm a pretty big, I'm like, I'm a lifetime Star Trek fan. 
lifelong Star Trek fan. Although, I'd imagine for my lifetime I'll be a Star Trek fan. Unless one day they just really crap on my breakfast. Soul. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, tap, 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 I don't know tap, why the show's still a thing. No, Terrified. No, Dennis, I agree. Shh. I do love Adam Lambert, though. I love, uh, Stop talking! Oh. Calculator. oh, my goodness. I stopped tapping. Sorry. Uh, I can't tell which one's his because it's so quiet. <laughs> goodness. Um, uh, unplug it. I, I have a better way to figure this out. You guys keep talking. Uh, right. So our Spencer fixes some of our technical issues. So Star Trek's coming out. You said it was kind of weird the way they had set it up. Huh? You. Is it not plugged in, Spencer? No, it's, I found out which one it is. Your mic's just shitty. Who's, uh, anyway. Uh, so Star Trek, they, they're going to put, you said they're going to air the first episode and then all the rest of the episodes are going to be yeah. under kind of a paywall kind of scenario yeah, slash international Netflix. CBS All Access. Um, and internationally, they're distributing it on Netflix. So, um, yeah, the, the trailer came out. Lots of uh, cool. It looks kind of more JJE than any of the other shows. There's a lot of tilted, like, Dutch angles moving and uh, lens flares and stuff. Um, but... Th- Visual effects wise, it looks really good. Um, it looks like they have a lot more money than any Star Trek show. They really put had. a lot of budget behind it, and that's kind of shocking for something that going into a show with starting a show up with a huge budget that hasn't really seen any kind of air yet. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Um, not really kind of strange. There, it's it's. Well, I'd imagine they're justifying the budget by having it behind a paywall and and banking on because they know they at this point know the well know the Star Trek audience. They know how much they're going to sell, you know, based on previous stuff, I guess. And maybe this is a little bit of a, a risk and such. But yeah, they, kn- they know the fan base a little bit. Um, they're alienating a lot of the older fan base, but I don't really care. I'm along for the ride. <laughs> um, like, uh, you know, not, not everybody is in love with the J.J. movies when it comes to, like, the, the hardcore Star Trek fan base. So um, I'm on the, the side that it's like, hey, more Star Trek. I'm fine by that. Um, and this one is also, it's, it's, it's more of a... Not so much a story, 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 story. Every episode is a different story. It's uh, supposed to be a, like a continuing thing, and they have 15 episodes, and it's, it looks pretty good. Cool. Um, that should be interesting. I might have to get behind that. Um, what was I going to say? And then they also announced that they signed a deal with, uh, the, with the, the author of the Witcher books yes. for a Witcher Ooh, TV show on Netflix. Yes. Now, I thought you said he didn't have the rights to those. Oh no, he he does. He still has the rights. He just sold the access uh, to the rights for the video games. Gotcha. Because he was just like, oh, I'll give you a full license to use my rights. You know, you know, here's a flat just for a flat rate. Sorry. So he just like sold everything Witcher related, and it was just like rip. Um, but yeah, no, he still has access. You know, he can still do stuff. Okay. But um, so so they they came to him, and you know, so they're starting up a TV show. Very interested to see casting wise. Uh, I know forever ago they had some person on Imgur or something. Oh, oh, oh well, that was your computer randomly shutting off. Oh, that Steph's computer is shut time. off, so now we cannot see any kind of anything. Chat, it's K. It'll, uh, it's, it's restarting. Fine. Yeah, it'll it'll <laughs> it'll like come back. This happens issue. like twice After a day. Technical <laughs> issue. Yeah, this is the technical issues podcast. And to add to that, Spencer has crumbs everywhere all over the couch I from saw eating his real, cookie. I saw a really funny um, Photoshop of Nicolas Cage as Geralt. Oh, yep. I saw that too. Yep. Um, yeah, for, yeah, we'll see if that happens. I, I'm interested to see because this show is going to be make or break on on the casting. That's why video game movies are so tough. It is video game movies slash a TV show now are so I tough? Prince of Persia was the worst. So married to the characters and the voice actors and stuff that when it comes in a different form, it's really hard to who accept. Who do you want? Like, if you, as, as a fan of Nolan Witcher, North. who would you want to play Geralt? <laughs> Like um, if you could choose anybody, you're like this person, the cosplayer perfect. guy, the person that had made the Imgur post that kind of linked up a mm-hmm. bunch of people to play different characters. Uh, actually, did a pretty good job. Mads Mikkelsen would make a pretty good Geralt. He's a little bit old okay. We're all for, for it that. because Geralt's supposed to be really spry and like he, he's he's like 200 years old, but he has like the the agility and kind of spryness of like a 30 year old that's re- in really good shape. So Mads might be a little bit no, he's fine. He's old good. for that, but he he kind of looks the part and kind of oh, sounds for some the reason part. I was thinking of ben Mendelsohn when you were talking. I don't know why. Mads is because they great were both shape. in Rogue One. Give Dan Stevens all the roles. Dan Stevens. Who? Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens. Anyway, uh, Tom Cruise from is Geralt. Legion from Beauty and the Beast, he plays Beast. He was in The Guest. He's kind of generic. Yeah, I know, I've never seen be- any of those. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's true. Yeah. Give him uh, some white hair and beef him up a little bit. 
what's his name? Uh, Jeff Bridges would make a very good Vesemir. Yes. Eva Green would make a fantastic yep. Yennefer. Yennefer. Uh, How about Siri? Siri. Emma Watson, I think, was what they had. What about that little dirt kid in the third game? <laughs> the what? What about that little the dirt kid? Johnny? That little kid who was like, Oh, my yeah. oh, name is Johnny! Yeah, what yeah about Johnny, I don't know. Beast what about the aborted fetus in the third one? The the, the botchling? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be all CGI, of course. And then, uh, yeah, the, the guy that plays Baratheon would make a perfect... Um, not that he would even be Stand in the show. Baratheon? The guy that plays Robert uh, Baratheon, the, the the original guy Joffrey that dies, Baratheon? the King Baratheon in the first There's season. There's a King Baratheon. Robert Baratheon. Oh yes, I thought you were talking. I thought there was mean, a, is there a King Baratheon? No, I thought what you were, the world? I thought you were saying there's all the kings. I thought you were saying there's a King Baratheon in The Witcher. No, I'm saying there's a guy called the. Um, uh, Baratheon? what's it called? Uh, it's it's his kid that's the botch lane. Um, shoot, why can't I oh, remember him? his name? Yeah, no, I know the, the Baron, the Bloody Baron. He would be perfect for that role. Yeah, it would. He, he actually like I think I, I don't think he's the voice actor, but he sounds exactly like the guy. But there's not that any of them would actually be in the show. I'm not even sure if there's even a uh, you know besides being Geralt because it could be you know Geralt when he was younger and not as famous, or it could be you know I don't know. Either what way, about, I'm excited. What about Viggo Mortensen? As Geralt. Mm, he'd have to buff up, but yeah. I mean, work. he's older. But he, would, he would work. I, don't know, I just like Viggo Mortensen. I want him to have more work. Not any, that he any doesn't time. have enough work, but I just like seeing he's him. Got the, he's got the sword play. Like, I saw his penis. Training. <laughs> in what movie? Uh, the one where he gets in a fight in the bathhouse. Oh, History of Violence. Oh, no, no, no. That's uh, Eastern Promises. I need to yeah. watch that one. That's, I think uh, I saw his penis. I was pretty young. It was yeah, very it was impressionable on me. I think that's where my uh, penis envy came from. Hey man, Never mind. I know, I know. What's what's it? Uh, Why? Uh, what's it called? What is penis envy? Bronson. Yeah, Bronson. Mm. Why are you Tom Hardy. I don't know. Tom Tab- Hardy did taboos. Like- Tom Hardy. Oh, Just waiting for them to finish. Anyway, what's your TV show? Are you talking about dongs. Yep. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of cool movies coming you ever out. See, and stuff. Um, Geralt in the game because there's plenty of nudity in the. No, yeah, and there lots is. of sex. Do you, you see, see his chest plenty. See, not fully modeled. No, I don't think so. Uh, it, I think you see his butt a few times. You see a little. Yeah, sack you do see again. his butt. You see <laughs> yeah, his you butt. do see his butt. I remember I meant now. More so dick. No, you just don't. Just because, like yeah, GTA, they have. That's, that's like I don't know if they. Times. That's that's hard for them to get to. I don't. I don't know if many games touch on that. Well, GTA, GTA does. Yeah, I know. I know GTA does, but GTA models penises. Uh, yeah. For one, there's one in DLC the, shot. On yeah. Topic? That happened. I don't think they had it. Was it, it. Gay Tony? I think it was Gay Tony, yeah. Yes. yes it was no, Tony. no, no, no. It was the biker, the biker one. Did they flashed it to Johnny? Yeah. The crazy guy on the It was it was uh it was a uh it was like a politician that yeah. he was like meeting up with and he was at a massage and he just gets up and you know, it was just a full frontal shot. <laughs> Wasn't it a little sad that we didn't get enough low poly penises back in the nineties? Like we got plenty of low poly boobs. I've shuffled through the character models in GTA 5 and there are modeled penises in the game for like old like vagrant dudes. So, don't tell me there aren't any penises in GTA I haven't, 5. I haven't, I don't remember seeing any. Don't tell me I haven't seen <laughs> those penises. I've, I've seen those in penises. They they're in there somewhere maybe. <laughs> don't they're... tell me I haven't seen the penises. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they'll just, they were they're just saving it for, you know, some kind of DLC that comes out where a bunch of vagrants are running around <laughs> naked. <laughs> Mud wrestling or something. <laughs> Mud wrestling. <laughs> goodness. Uh, goodness. Uh, but yeah, so that's a lot of the entertainment news. Uh, well, I guess there's this one. You know, Spencer, you can talk about this one. Oh, yes. So sadly, yesterday, uh, Chris Cornell of Soundgarden was found hanging in his hotel room and he died. Jesus. But he was a very good singer and he was a part of Audio Slave, which was a big part of of my middle school rock phase. Oh, really? And actually, that kind of stuck out until now. But um, And I also really like a lot of Soundgarden songs. And he did the song for Casino Royale yes, the in the song. Bond, uh, the new Bond quadrilogy. Oh, really? That, you that, know my name. Like, yeah, we listened to it in Scotland. My name is James Bond. And will you blah, blah, blah. I don't remember how it goes. But he was... I kind of do. He was very good... I believe, and he was a kind of an icon of the 90s, which is sad because there's not a lot left. There's Dave Grohl, but you know, I liked him a lot. Me too. I listened to uh, Black Hole Sun a lot yesterday. Black Hole Sun. I'm making an email about my Vine account. 
but he played a show yesterday. Yes. And then right after the show, it pretty much happened. Like, uh, oh, you were goodness. saying that there's a statement from Jeez. his wife. Yeah, his wife had said, well, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before. They had found him yesterday morning, I believe, or something like that. Jeez. Yeah. And um, he took two uh, extra anxiety pills or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so he, he had, wasn't thinking he had entirely taken a straight. His wife had, yeah, his wife had oh, spoken That's not him, substantiated. Bad. That's just uh, thought. So saying. he may have just gotten a little loopy and did that. Uh, but I was watching uh, footage from his show uh, that uh, last night, and he does seem a little bit slow. Like, when he's singing, he seems a little bit behind, but, oh, really? nah, I don't know. Jeez. It makes sense, but it's also, like, Rip it may not be peace, true. Sir. How yeah. long was that, like, what's t- that era? It, was that more so an 80s band? 90s. 90s, okay. Yep. He did uh, Soundgarden in the 90s, Audio Slave in the early 2000s, and uh, they started touring again, uh, Soundgarden did, and he did the song for Casino Royale back in, like, 2006, 7, something like that. Yeah, 2006. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, he was really good. How old was he? Was he in his like his, Oh, okay. I thought he was in like yeah, he his was older. 30s, late 30s, he's early 40s. He was 50 something. 52, I, I think. Or something yeah. Like that. Interesting. But it was weird because they had a ton of stuff planned coming up. Granted, you can never really predict that things, but uh, uh, yeah, they had like a whole tour planned. He was planning to record with uh, I think one of his other bands from the 90s. But oh goodness, yeah. well, that's too bad. So. Thoughts go out to his family yeah, and really fans prepared. for and that. And his music is amazing. And I'm like sure a lot of it. people are going to be listening to I it know. now. Just to they had an hour of, some of Chris it. Cornell yesterday on 93.3. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he was good. <sighs> well, it's always hard to transition away from a topic when you talk about someone that's passed away. Just have Steph try to help you. What was your perfect no, transition great. you had before? It was the cookie. It was the cookie. Uh, I don't have a cookie, cookie for this. Cookie. I hate that transition. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I did forget about one thing um, that uh, just part of entertainment news. Steph's cousin works on Last Man on Earth. Oh, yeah. I oh, got yeah they renewed. got confirmed for another And they season. got confirmed for Last another Man on season. Earth. Watch it. It's so fun. The wave of cancellations and renewals and just it happened. And made it through. Made it through. I'm very, 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 very excited. I still need to check out that show. I haven't watched any it's of it It's really yet. funny. It's an easy show to watch. I mean, like, if you're just going in to have a good time, like, it's fun. Yeah, If it's you start fun. looking at, like, specifics, you know, because it, it's about the last man on Earth. There's like, you know, people, it's like when though. people watch The Walking Dead and they're, like, really looking for why, you know? It's just kind of like, I don't know. But it's yeah. it's a great show. It really is. It's funny. You guys I'm get not to hang saying out that just day? because she's huh? You guys get to hang out together today? Yes, we did get to hang out. We went to oh, yeah. Chris you, Brewery. Did you call her when we were here? <laughs> and she didn't tell anyone she was in town. She did it as like a she was surprising people and my I was texting her Believe brother. Me, if you have a family cousin. as big as Steph's, you don't tell them. You tend you to not get in do and that. Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my dad went to see was playing on seeing his family earlier this year mm-hmm. and he has to fly out to Salt Lake City to do that and he was like, "Oh, I'll tell him about it." And then he would wait. He's like, oh, I'm going to tell him about it. And he ended up going to Salt Lake City and not seeing them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Well, see, yeah, that's that fine. I don't blame him. Like, I don't want to see yeah. some of my family sometimes either. Really? But sometimes you just need some time. Yeah, which And you ruin sense. that for her. No, she was going to call me. She's like, oh, I was just about to call yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> no, we all you know went to You know what that is? Dinner. That's the same way that Spencer's dad would have done if someone called him. He's like, <laughs> well, oh, see, I was I'm actually here. just about to no, call you. It's just like two seconds. Did she have to take a flight here? Did she fly here? Yeah, she did. Well, th- yeah, she wasn't playing on seeing anyone then. How, yeah, she was. How, she how, went and made the. Ra- she made all the rounds. Mm-hmm. See, with our family, if you're coming well, to town you and you don't phone, tell us, we're gonna be mad at you. I was right. You make all the rounds. <laughs> you was, see everybody. I, know, I was right there when you were on the phone with her, and you're like, "Well, you know, things spread fast in this family." <laughs> so of course she had to make the rounds. You ruined it for her. No, she was like, it was it was supposed to be a surprise because she didn't get to make my cousin's wedding, which when I was in Michigan this past weekend. Shut up. What better way to make everyone feel special than just say, "Oh, it was supposed to be a surprise." Whatever. My family loves me. <laughs> 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 of it course, was of course, fun. Stephanie. It was good to see her, and she was really excited that her show is going, and they're like, you know, getting all that stuff ready and getting ready to write and all that. And she's really excited. So sweet. I it's know. nice to know that you still have a job. Seriously, though, yeah, she's excited. So. I'm excited to see what uh, season four will bring because the ending was pretty awesome for it, for season three. It, it got, they did a really good it job. It ramped on the up finale. quite a bit because yeah, that was yeah. my one thing with it is like you know it's kind of slow. You know, they're, they're it's funny and they're but they're just kind of staying in the same place and nothing. And the and conflict needs to happen. So <laughs> conflict appeared like and it appeared. Load of con- 
respond. And it appeared. I just had a serious stroke. Sorry. That's the worst part, too. Uh, Anyway. uh, It was, yeah. No, it was really good. I'm very excited for more. And you guys should watch it because then we can talk about it. And I don't know if anybody in the chat watches it, but. I saw a few people saying that. (gasps) Yay! They're they're fans of the show. Good. It's fun. And it's really easy. It's like 30 minutes. You just sit and watch like. I started watching uh, Silicon Valley. Oh, yeah? Because Jared mentioned it to me. It's pretty good. Very awkward, but good. TJ I've watched Miller probably really three awkward. seasons of it. Yeah, well, T.J. Miller's probably the least awkward person in it. Yeah. yeah. You know the guy in the Verizon commercials now who, like, has the mics and he drops them? Oh, he's yeah. Like, oh, I've mic. seen him, yeah. He's in it, too, and oh, my God. Like, there's some scenes where it's just like, how are you this awkward? He reminds like, you of that guy from SNL. What guy? I don't know who you guys are talking about in the first place. Thomas Middleditch, the main yeah, guy? Yeah, that guy. Um, he reminds you of Kyle Mooney from SNL? I don't know. He, Kyle Mooney, he, he was from YouTube. He was he's done, right. he was in that video that I showed you guys the Zoomify Enhance one where he it, it, him and the other guy were are both on SNL now. Oh really? That's what? cool. Yeah, him, the the two guys who kissed. Yeah, Kyle Mooney and I can't remember the I other. I don't remember any the guy of that. who plays Putin. But <laughs> Silicon oh, Valley is pretty good. Is it? Yeah, I like it quite that a bit. It's just there's some the situations where I'm like, this isn't that tough, and they just have such bad social anxiety that I'm like, mm-hmm. how are you? You just fuck yourself over so much worse. That's how you get. That's how a lot of TV shows get you. But it was good. Anyway, uh, let's take a couple minutes here to talk about today's sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. Uh, thank you again so much hey. for sponsoring this episode. Uh, but basically, Dollar Shave Club is definitely the smarter choice when it comes to shaving. You get a great shave at a great price, conveniently delivered right to your door. Spencer, I know that you have recently received your newest, your newest shipment of razors. Yeah. And uh, it's definitely a no-brainer choice, and uh, you don't have to schlep over to the store to buy a cheap disposable razor that's going to slice up your face. Schlep. That sounds so, that piece sounds of garbage, yeah, no, plastic ones. Uh, and you don't also have to go get those really expensive gimmicky ones that really don't matter. You know, you're going to get a really nice blade at a very good price. Uh, so yeah, you definitely don't have to spend a fortune on this. And then, uh, when you use the Dollar Shave Club executive razor with their Dr. Carver shave butter, uh, the blade just gently glides, you know, giving, giving a s- very nice smooth shave. I use the shave butter. It's yeah, I like the, you like the shave butter. It smells like rosemary. <clears throat> Is it, uh, like, uh, tell us about your experience for a second. So, uh, I think I don't have the top, uh, razor. I don't have the bottom razor. I have like the middle one because mm-hmm. it has a better handle that I like, but, uh, it's still, the blades are still the same. I believe they're the same price. So I just get four blades every other month. I was getting four every month, but I don't use them enough cause I don't grow enough hair. <laughs> so I just, I got it so you can do it. So it's every other month and then I get like, uh, the shave butter every now and then stuff like that. But it, it's very, very easy and nice. And my face smells very, very nice. Afterwards. Yeah, apparently the shave butter is transparent, so it gives you a more precise shave to help prevent ingrown hairs and yeah, fight I don't, the razor bump stuff. Yeah, I don't like uh, shaving with, like, uh, what's it called? Like, shave, traditional shaving traditional cream. Shaving cream. I, don't, yeah. cause I can't really see too much. But yeah, it, it is clear, but it does the exact same thing. Yep. And it's good on toast. It's good on toast. Don't too. do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, like, off toast. It so, does actually remind me of rosemary bread that I used to get at Macaroni Grill. It smells like this. It's so good. It sounds like a good smell. Very refreshing smell. So you two can make the smarter choice by joining the Dollar Shave Club. And for a limited time, new members get their first month uh, of the Executive Razor with a tube of their Dr. Carver Shave Butter for only $5 with free shipping. After that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks there. And in your first month, you get an awesome weighty handle, a full set of four cartridges, and a tube of their Shave Butter. Uh, and then after you get that first month, you just get replaced. Uh, in the razor version like Spencer was talking about. You get about. four at a time. Yep, and there are no hidden fees and no commitments, and you can cancel anytime you'd like. So if you want to get this offer exclusively through this Hubcast, you can go to dollarshaveclub.com slash hub. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash hub. And uh, uh, me and my girlfriend both use the razor. So I use it on my okay. face, and she uses it on her legs. Yep. Nice. And it works just razor fine. Razor's a razor. You can use, yep. them, use them for anything. And they give you so many. You can pretty much replace them every week if you do it monthly, because you just get four a month, so just use one for each week. I like every two weeks. Yeah. But nice. So thank you so much, nice. Dollar Shave Club, for sponsoring this episode of the Hubcast. Oh, a round of applause, except Dan has a cup of coffee. Don't do that, Dan. He drew a Batman on it. <laughs> he just like hit it into when his did face you do too. That? Uh, before to oh, differentiate, like, good. it looks man, like I knew where it was. That's the, like the Dark Knight Batman. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a little like the Dark Knight Batman. It's nice. 
Okay, let me look at my crumpled sheet of notes here. I haven't perfected my uh, fat Batman logo yet. Um, one thing I can go over really quick, I know a lot of people are asking about this, as far as like um, upload schedule and all that, we are currently dealing with a bunch of stuff around uh, the Adpocalypse stuff, so we're trying to figure some stuff out around that. And uh, once we do, then we hopefully we'll get back into a new set thing. But we are making a specific update video that covers everything that will uh, be very informative for everyone. We don't want to... Once we get everything locked down. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. We, so, we want to make sure that we don't say stuff that's not true. So we have to make sure it's true first. Yeah. A few things in limbo So we, here. So to, we yeah. will be looking out for that update video very soon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because I know a lot of people are asking about that. Good old Adpocalypse. Well, I mean, uh, H3H3 has only uploaded two videos in the last month or something like that. Oh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are just slowing down, it seems like. It's a crazy, crazy world out there. Um, so I, I was I actually playing insights into things. Anyway, continue. He kind of just says things because he wants to transition to the next point. <laughs> he's just like, so he's crazy, like yeah, uh, I agree. Crazy okay. world out there. Right. Nah, yeah, you can kind of tell when I'm ready to move on. Like I, I, mm. I say the courtesy, like, interesting. comment See, on Interesting. It, it, wow, that's, it, a, that's anyway, really great, Spencer. It's, it's not courtesy when you see through it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Spencer. I really appreciate that. Anyway, oh, thank you. Uh, I was actually, so to, to combat some of that apocalypse stuff, so I've actually been streaming a lot more. Um, because you know Twitch is cool, and they actually don't suck, and they've helped build like some. Really Are you saying cool you models. just jump ship right on to the next hot thing, Jordan? No, no, I'm still them. doing both. I'm just you know adding Twitch into the mix because it also is very fun at the same hey, I time. Was pushing you for it? Yes, you were, I and I finally got around to it. Uh, anyway, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch competitive because mm -hmm. uh, Spoon got me into it. I found out that I very much enjoy it. And I was playing the other day, and I had a pretty insane comeback. And oh. I have found that uh, my calling is Roadhog. I know. When you, we were playing the other day, you kept playing That's Roadhog. That's my character. No one else can play it. <laughs> I was, no. My calling is Roadhog. I, I will play tell Roadhog you what. and Lucio Wait, and Soldier. Spencer? That's it. I just picked up Lucio. Oh. <laughs> isn't, uh, isn't... Soldier. Who? Say so you picked up Soldier. Soldier, shoulder. Who's the one that goes into it and then she like, diva? <laughs> Gigi. <laughs> I just because I uh, I saw uh, Tangie, Joe you got tweet that the anniversary is coming up, right? What? For Overwatch, they're doing like a big yes, thing yeah, for it? stream war. Yeah, yeah the, so, oh, May twenty third. You're a little late, but I'm glad you like hey, it. Somebody said people are saying I have to stream more. I don't know if they're joking or not. I just don't know. But I stream way more than Jordan does now. You streamed Jordan this probably. morning. I did stream Dan this streams like, I how stream often do you stream a week? Stream. Like, how many times a week do you stream? Hold on, I'll give you guys a spiel. Why, guys, I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And on Tuesdays and Fridays, I do a morning and night stream. Typically, I start pretty late. It's like 8 or 9 o'clock. And I'll go for a while. I went seven and a half hours last week uh, oh. on one of my streams. But I did, this morning, I played Skyrim, uh, actually, for the first time in quite a while. I killed all the Dark Brotherhood. It was pretty fun. But yes, I stream all the time. And actually, tonight, uh, Jordan, Max, and I, that's right, Gassy Mexican Kutra and Dan's News what? reunited. No, no, we're just doing, we're doing a, a drunk uh, GTA Online stream. Wait, do I have to be drunk? You don't have to we drink. Have so much I had told I had told Max house. he doesn't have to drink, or uh, I don't know if I told you that, but no, he, he said he that. would drink. Can uh, I like um, hop in and still so. drink? No, if you want to drink, it'd be fun. It'd be more fun if you in? drank, Jordan. We have so Why much. Why can't I just get high out of my mind? You can get high out of your mind too. That's fine. But okay. uh, well, yeah, I'll so, drink, drink. so I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday, and Eight. I was gone for like a couple weeks because there was a lot of travel last month. But um, so back much full on. I should probably be streaming. The, I'm at the highest rank I've ever gotten in Hearthstone right now. Ooh, you should what's be your, what's some, some elos we got in in Overwatch here? What's your rank? I don't know. Like, I haven't placed yet. Have you haven't placed? I don't know. No, my elo placed me at twenty. I mean, I think I'm at twenty four nine right what now. What rank? Like what gold? Gold. Gold's okay. Trump Gold's okay. Pie. Gold. Okay, so there's like there's bronze, which is really bad. There's silver, which is bronze, silver, gold, plat, master, master guardian, right? There's or something diamond like that. in there somewhere too. Yeah, diamond. Uh, master gold's guardian. fine. Well, I'm almost plat. <laughs> yeah, platinum's. Uh, I'm almost plat. Platinum's the plat. you're getting pretty good. I've never gotten past platinum. I've because you suck. I usually Jordan, you're in gold. You are so no, I it's usually ridiculous. play some platinum. I'm not usually dedicated sure. enough to actually commit to it, but uh, <laughs> Ray uh, Ray Zombie is. I think he was in. Uh, he was in Diamond. Oh, nice! Something like that. Shen He's Ray, pretty good. Diamond? Ray plays competitive yeah. all the Shen fucking time. Yeah, I, I started playing. I'm placing right now with Lola at home because we got a second computer at home, and uh, we did really yeah. good a couple times. We had three games in a row where we just fucking destroyed the other team. 
You just need a good team. That's it. Yeah, the problem it is, really is. If you don't have six teamwork. people that you're trusting, then you're going to lose. It's it's pretty insane. And that's insane. hard to find when you know, there's only two it's people. It's nice to, yeah, I, I'd love to get a get a good group together um it's usually really fun when i'm on with, like playing with spoon and then that one time dan joined up we were doing pretty good even if everyone on the team isn't necessarily great the fact that you're so on you a have team, the correct team comp yeah. like everyone can drive forward and make the well because usually teams decisions. cannibalize themselves because one guy's like well i'm clearly better than everyone else and they just fucking eat each other and then they're like well you know what i'm just gonna stay in spawn and then you're just a team just pushing through and you can also talk which helps a lot too yeah, I, I was really impressed with the voice chat quality in there, too. It's yeah. really cool. But anyway, so, yeah. They, and they have their anniversary thing coming up. May 23rd. Um, oh, they showed some new skins, dancing emotes, voice lines, and arena maps yesterday. Oh, I saw the But maps. the arena maps, we don't know what arena is yet. So, it might be free-for-all? I don't know. One looked like Eichenwald again, but it was, like, slightly it's different. It's outside, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was Eichenwald, Temple of Anubis, and uh, uh, Dorado. Eichenwald. It was, like, outside the maps. Mm. But, uh, yeah, those should be fun. <laughs> it's all about six Symmetras. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, she has a new voice line. It's uh, like, welcome to the car wash or something. I, welcome to the car wash. And it's a reference. You put all her turrets everywhere, and then people mm-hmm. walk through. It's like, a car wash, yeah. Yeah. The new skins are cool, though. Zarya finally has a skin that's actually different. Really hope that they add in gun skins beyond just gold. I mean, come well, on. I, I don't like gun skins. They feel like it cheapens the game. What? Cheapens, cheapens the game. The game. That makes know. a game even more valuable. Just have gun skins and crates. I don't, I don't like playing <laughs> open the crates and the guns. <laughs> I don't like playing. I think that's just addiction to her you talking. I, like, I think it's fine for skins for the characters because it's predetermined. But when you get skins for the guns and then you get user submitted ones, you're like, I don't like seeing a guy walk around coming said, with a hot dog. I never gun. said there had so, to be user created stuff. Reaver said arena is confirmed to be 3v3, 1v1 maps. I, I don't think it was actually. I was reading uh, the Reddit. Uh, um, Jeff Kaplan did a Reddit uh, interview, and I think I don't think it's been confirmed either way. All right, Reaver Spencer, fight to the death. But it may Whoever be. I don't know. I, I could be true. wrong. But the only reason I don't think that's true is because if it's three v three or one v one, why don't they just call it three v three or one v one maps? Why do they you, specifically how about you call both it one v one right now to figure I'm out the truth? One v one. We one v one to see who the real road hog is. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I could I could beat a road hog. Road v road. <laughs> If I'm a Roadhog, Soldier, or Lucio, I'm typically pretty good. That's the characters I try to be good at. Lucio's new update's interesting. Yeah, I need to learn some of the other players. I need to get to mystery. figure out Just one. Keep playing mystery. I, I'm, I'm good with the. Uh, I'm good with uh, Roadhog, so I've kind of got a tanky covered. Um, I need to get better at Reinhardt. I need to probably learn Lucio a little bit. Reinhardt's probably one of the most valuable characters in the game. Because there's cause really Reinhardt's no huge. maps where he's not good at. Well, maybe con- control I can play maps, Mercy, but... but then when it comes to DPS, I have no character I'm good at. You'd like Soldier, then. Well, I've been playing Soldier. Soldier's and, like, probably the best I did DPS pretty right good now. With him, but it's just like, uh, I, it's just too basic. I don't like the how basic it is. Just a yeah. basic character. See, I, th- I I liked playing mystery because Joe and I played a shit ton of mystery for a while, and it's a it's a great way to learn the fundamentals of the characters, not yeah. how they play well with other characters, because you have no yeah, consistent. There's no team, team comp, comp. and then, unless you get really unlucky, yeah. like we did that one time, yes. where there's like a perfect team comp that yeah. came through. Sometimes on the people other just team. spawn on mystery; they'll spawn with a perfect team. Yeah, comp. yeah then, it was well, no it, fair. Typically, what happens on mystery if they really steamroll you is that they get at least three tanks and two healers. And the healers just heal the tanks. They had the tanks two Zarya's. Everyone. They had two Zarya's and like yeah, Zarya's a bunch of healer. It was it was ridiculous. See, Anti in the chat is saying soldier equals noob. Soldier's probably my least the well, character is. that I'm the worst at. He also put the Kappa face though. No, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, but that is general. I mean, it is the most general when it comes to first person shooter characters. Oh, yeah. It is no, Call his, of Duty his, for the most uh, part. His set is general, but in order to be good with him, it's not very. Yeah, new, that's like, true. I just uh, I suck. he's got an easy character. ultimate. He's got an easy basic. Yeah. He's got a very easy side. He's got he's squishy. Heals. Uh, he's very he squishy. Can sprint. He, you know, yeah, besides but, the I mean, fact that he's squishy, he's just very. Uh, easy. He, there's a he, there's a low level for him to be good with, but there's also no a high ceiling. The little squishy. McCree's harder well, to do for DPS. Mean, so I'm not very good with McCree. Yeah, actually, you actually have to be good at tracking if you want to do good with McCree. I love me as Zenyatta. Zenyatta's the best. Zenyatta's my number one target when I'm Roadhog. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. Well, he, the Roadhog is... that's Better believe fucking, nothing's more satisfying than... I hate uh, when a Roadhog is around. <laughs> 
Mm. That's how my games go. Yeah. I don't Now Jordan's Mercy, have you had a Pharaoh to like lock on to and just yeah, dedicate that's that? That's fucking annoying. Because they're all so squirrely in the sky. Mm-hmm. And I'm always the character that, like, unless I I'm usually, soldier. I go for, I hook them out of the sky usually. I'll go yeah, for no, the mercy first. Yeah, no, if you can hook them, that's good. To get the mercy out of there and then the fair. The fair is worse. Like, mercy's not too hard to hook out of the sky. Fair sucks because she always, for some reason, always boosts right when I go for her. But she does have the ability to strafe around in the sky and stuff. So I can't re- lead, lead the person as much. Yes. Yes. I yep. concur. Yep. Me too. We should play. We should play. I only play with plats. Ooh, yeah, number one plat. hooker in North America. They're using There's your my number emotes. one hooker in a emote right there. <laughs> he says that all the time. He's like, I'm the number one hooker in North America <laughs> on his stream all is the time. Is that your emote? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah emote. that's my emote. What How long have you been playing Overwatch thing? for? <laughs> I don't know, a couple days. And you already no, have any last emotes? couple weeks. No, you last few weeks. Last few weeks, he's number one hooker in a. He likes to be flashy, Spencer. He has some really good Durnsher emotes, too. I, I, I Twitch Prime subscribed to him just so I could get the Durnsher. Durnsher! Because when, I, when I, like, I'll smoke on stream, like not on stream, but during a break, and then I'll come back and I'll put like Durnsher, and then I have a little blaze to emote. So it's like Durnsher. There it is right there. Durnsher! Durnsher! He's such a about. hooker. Jordan, Jordan is such a hooker. will hook himself to anything. I, yeah, I was hoping they were going to they do a, a Roadhog hooker skin. <laughs> like a, like he's just in like really brother. trashy fishnets mm. and has a really short leather mini skirt and then a tube Is that top. A hot dog on fire? That's, it, that's his hot that's diggity, my dog. Hot diggity dog right oh, there. Like that it's Mickey Mouse down. song. You know Jordan's you took that from him. Yeah, huh? there's the Durancher Blaze. Mickey thing. Mouse's Playhouse. They have the hot diggity I took dog that from song him. and you took it. Where did I get hot, hot diggity well, dog? Was, speaking hot of Mickey, I was at. I'll post this on Twitter here in a bit, but I was at Walgreens nearby here recently. I and I took why. a video of this <gasps> for you. Squirrel! You're Sorry. allowed to smoke on stream now yes, if it's legal in your state. Put... Somebody had told me that in my chat recently. Mickey, 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 Mickey. That's kind of weird. Now ready? Wait for it. This is Hot Diggity Dog. I bet you anything. Hot Diggity Dog. That's because that's the song in Mickey Mouse's Hot Dog, Hot Diggity Dog. I've yeah. used it a lot longer than when that was created, though. Oh, that's so though. cool. I love those things. The little fan There's things, There's a little yeah. fan at Walgreens that had lights in it, and it said Hot Wait, Diggity what's Dog. Wait, date? I'll just show it to the camera. Today is uh, the 19th. Well, isn't Red Nose 19. Day the 25th? I believe it's coming up, I yes. I want to go get a Red Nose from Walgreens. I'm excited for the um, uh, Love Actually uh, sequel <gasps> thing. Yeah! Did you see the, the teaser they put out with no, I Andrew didn't see Lincoln? It, they they have Andrew Lincoln doing the cards thing again with Kira Knightley, but it's like now, and so oh my he, he has like a thing that says, like, do you like the beard? And she's like, and, he, oh. <laughs> and then he drops it and it says me neither. Oh, that's so funny. I'll have to see it. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot focus diggity and dog. Yeah, I mean, that's, they get the point. Yep. Yeah, they can definitely see it. Um, uh, <laughs> That hurts wait, my eyes. That hurts wait. my eyes. I heard her door. Huh? I heard her back door. What do you mean our back door? I did hear I some it. noise. Ah! Oh, I don't know. But you can't have love, actually, Elise Williams. Um, let's see. The only Good thing I have Elise. left on here, well, there's two things. Uh, Nintendo. Finally. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> they released um, the best-selling games of April, and guess what was at the top? Ghost Recon. No, that was at the top of the whole year. <laughs> Get wrecked, Breath of the Wild. Well, Breath of the Wild was third, I think, or something like that. But for number one for April was Zelda and Mario Kart 8. Oh. Fuck you, anyone who said nay. I think those are the only games released in May. In what? What it's else? Is, what what else was released? In April? It's April and May, yeah, or April. I don't know. <laughs> so you're you're basing this off of something that w- there was nothing uh, else released in April, was there? Yeah, there and was they got there top was, sellers. There was nothing released in April. I don't. I can't remember anything that would even contend. What are you looking at me for? I don't know. <laughs> no man's sky coming out. Let's see here. Let me. <laughs> Let me look to see, because you can't be making claims that, like... You can't be making claims. <laughs> game. The hell's happening the right now? so boring. I've been tuned out the last minute and a half. Spencer's trying to make a claim that his his precious games... Oh, the Nintendo. Jordan. And the Nintendo. <laughs> you have a Nintendo Switch and Zelda. Yes. And you yeah, contributed. I also... I also Strongly okay. have have some serious problems with yeah, Zelda he, so he far. He contributed so to a... international sales in the Nintendo Switch, <laughs> not domestic. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> the okay. only time I watched 
watched Jordan play Breath of the Wild was when he was looking for some stupid ass crickets for like three hours. Well, that's his fault. Uh, we were sitting there and I was like, oh, this is cool. And then three hours later, I was like, are you still looking for crickets? And that's all he did. I'm not exactly. Sounds like something Jordan would it do. It was so boring. While he's looking this up, uh, Destiny 2, do you see the, uh, the trailer for that? Destiny 2. Um, it's coming to Battle.net. I know, it's Blizzard. Battle the Blizzard app. It's the Blizzard app, yeah, it's not yeah. Battle.net anymore. But uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That means it's going to be in the little yeah. booting yeah. app thing. That's kind of weird. Yeah. It's weird because they don't have like Warcraft on there or Diablo 2 or anything like that because they got rid of those, I believe, from oh. the Battle.net launcher. But oh, yet you, they you put can, Destiny you can, 2 on You there? can pick and choose what's on there. Well, I no, think. no, they have like Diablo 3 on there and World of Warcraft, but yes. you can't get oh. Warcraft or Diablo 2 on there. Uh, they have that. their more more recent games since I guess that stuff. But, um, yeah, that'll be interesting because uh, I play. I, I I have the season pass for Destiny, Disney on my PS4, and I play. I think Liz played it way more than I did, but I played it like maybe four or five hours. I don't know. I wasn't crazy impressed. Um, that was back when Peter Dinklage was still the voice of the thing. <gasps> I was super Dinklage. hyped for Destiny 1 because of all of the uh, art that came out beforehand and stuff like that. Like, I love the aesthetic of it. Mm -hmm. But when I actually saw gameplay of it, it looked incredibly boring to me. It looked like it was a lot of uh, grinding, which I've heard a lot of people say it it's is. It's kind of like it was like. But I know people really liked it. If Borderlands adapted that kind of style of game where it's kind of like an MMO a little bit where yeah. it's uh, I think because it, it already is like that a little bit. But if they had like straight up adapted it, I think it would have like made more sense as a Borderlands thing as opposed to. But either either way, I thought uh, I don't know. I wasn't crazy about it. They got rid of Peter Dinklage, too. Yep. What a shame. Dinklebot. All in North. You know, what, Spencer, I'm looking over the April releases. There really isn't anything here that would have even contended. Well, then maybe there should have been. I'm not arguing with what they should have contended with. I'm saying they contended. Fight, 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 fight to and death. And in the death. end, oh. Disney makes a lot of money on their movie releases. Yeah, that's too. They always do. <laughs> yeah, that's too. That's yeah, for that's darn it. sure. Darn sure. How many times have you seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Jordan? Zero. Steph? Zero. Why? Spencer? I tried to get Once. him to go hey. to the movies last night, and he wouldn't go. And then he was like, I'm Did he make some stupid joke where it's like, rah, 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 rah. Yes, it's every conversation. You're going to go try to see Alien to, well, to, today see that or too. probably I tomorrow. I heard it was see. good, but it wasn't what they were marketing. Oh, really? That yeah. it's not very horror oriented. Oh, really? Yeah. Very hmm. well. Were they trying to? I, I saw a lot of the reviews were talking oh, about the it. The trailer. They said horror. I was like, what do yeah, you Yeah, there's a bunch of horrors in it. No, it's kind of a horror looking trailer. But apparently, it's not very horror or oriented. The alien, yeah. One, I want to see. But I heard it's still good. I, I didn't yeah. feel too horrored out by the trailer. I, that that felt more of a alien because well, I guess I guess, I, I, guess I understand the aliens movies enough to know that it's just kind of like a, you know, it's a monster movie. <laughs> It's not Friend a of the movie. channel Emily has seen it twice, and David has seen it once. Uh, David, Alien, David Higginson, hey. and Emily. Yeah, yeah, it's it's been out in the UK the last they week. Keep, they did it with Guardians too. Yeah, they do that with a lot of releases sometimes. Although I think a lot of the more recent, uh, oh, did they do that with Guardians? Uh, yeah. They've done that with a lot of Marvel releases, but um, not all of them. Um, but Emily had said. She really liked it. David really liked it. Um, although he said he likes ninety percent of movies that come out anyway, though. Yeah, and, <laughs> um, she had Excuse said me, she was expecting gory. it to be more gory. Oh, that's it's what not she is. It rated R. Yes, rated R. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I've right. seen that's some surprising. Uh, tweets about the Wonder Woman movie coming out, and they were saying it's the best movie since The Dark Knight. There were like not really any negative reviews from all. I did the see a lot of. I'm really excited. Screening. I want to see Wonder Woman so bad. I yeah. already have my tickets pre ordered. Yeah. yeah. They were and saying then, Chris Pine and her were really good chemistry oh, Chris wise. Chris Pine is really funny. Good. And I, great want action I want DC and, to do really good, and it depresses me to see it be a shit storm. Been a little So shaky. I want them to see you do good, and well, I'm they, excited. They started it all. They deserve to at least have a little bit of a hand in something. I mean, they did really go with the Dark Knight trilogy, but everything else since like 1989 has kind of been. It's uh, they they flip flopped with Marvel. Either you told me that, or somebody else told me that. Whereas like they were in the 90s I, and 80s, they were king of movies, and Marvel was good on television. Marvel had the Incredible Hulk and yep. 
other stuff and then now it's flip-flopped around where it's like you know are the dc tv oh, shows good? flash right, supergirl arrow. arrow they're successful at least yeah uh, they've been right. a little wavery people have said flash is really consistent supergirl's all right arrow um, became kind of soap opery to me yeah arrows which it was at the beginning ooh, too but black lightning i saw the trailer for that looks actually pretty good like i'm What's i think that that's the thing that's intrigued me the most Marvel has a lot of tv shows too though yeah, they're they're putting a bunch yeah. of they're putting cloak and dagger in I mean, humans. Still, I feel like Legion. I've heard better reception on the Marvel front uh, for the TV. Netflix shows, but I know what you mean. Agents of Shield with uh, I well, know. I guess I'm oh, thinking more so stuff. Netflix. Yeah. But yeah, Netflix, I guess that yeah, doesn't technically. Well, they count. announced cloak and dagger and a bunch of other stuff like Legion and other things too. Granted, that's Fox, but still Marvel. Yes. Anyway, Good take that Fox. Fox. All we that stuff. Take that for data. That was on that sticky note, and I know it. No, it's not. I just put movies. Can you Baywatch, guys? It's coming out soon. Can you guys name the four cities that have an NBA team in the Final Four? What? From our video? No, no, no. Right. You're saying no. NBA yeah, team NBA. for the Final Four. They uh, don't really call it an. It's Final called four. the Conference Finals. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there's four cities, and one of them isn't called by their city name. But I'll take it if you call it right. There's two in the east and two in the west. I assume Golden State Warriors. Yep, Golden State. Because there's no way Steph Curry would ever not make it to the Final Four. I mean, he's only been good for a couple. Of, I mean, their team's only been that good for a couple of years, but he is really good. Well, they're a new team in general, aren't they? And they're only nope. like they've a been few around years since old. the 70s. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. They've won. I've they've won a few titles them. before Steph Curry was around. People just um, saw Steph Curry and was like, "Oh my God, the Warriors, it's so cool! I'm gonna fucking see. jerk off to them." Two, two east and two west. Yep. Uh, the clear, uh, Celtics. Yep. And then you almost had it. Cavaliers. Yep. Are the, the other Cleveland East. and Boston? And then, uh, the last West Coast team. It should be the most consistently good team over the past twenty years. <sighs> I I want to say the Lakers just because I know nope, they suck right now. Who would it be? Uh, but they got the second pick. Is it? It's they're not in California, right? Nope, they're in Texas. Mm -hmm. There's three teams in Texas. <laughs> um, Houston. Yep, that's not. They're not there, but that's one of them. What's the other one? Uh, the San Antonio Spurs, yep. oh, and then go. is that Spurs are the, the ones Spurs that are, are through? Okay, it's San Antonio Spurs, Dallas Mavericks, and Houston Rockets in Texas. Oh, goodness, oh, state so fucking. Well, I got three out of four of them, so I, I didn't got get them to guess any. San Antonio I know, but I was just guessing the Boston Texan team. So, goodness, good for Cleveland. That's all they have. So, really. so playoffs are happening for hockey. Playoffs are happening for basketball. Yeah. It's a little underwhelming in basketball. Uh, so LeBron on the Cavaliers has sweeped every team so far, and uh, the Golden State Warriors have sweeped every team so far. So there's a possibility that swept. the two people they swept win four is games. Is the word you're looking for there, Spencer? Sweeped, and so there's a possibility that the two teams in the finals sweeped every team prior to them. Is it sweeped or is it swept? It's swept. <laughs> oh. I was just being a, a, a dumb. <laughs> But yes. Anyway, yeah. So oh, I want to talk about God. basketball for a bit. Just want sauce, what? Morty. I know. I saw the comment. <laughs> People were talking about. Basketball. I don't know, Rick. Yeah, that's good. Just want. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, cool whip. I, I found a. Uh, cool uh, Set up the DVD rack, and I forgot I had the. Uh, I think it's season one of Rick and Morty on on Blu-ray. Because I had gotten it a while ago, because I had caught it when it had first started it's a coming tiny out. Little DVD, because it doesn't match up with the other ones, and then that's not frustrating. It's a little blue one. Don't you just want to yeah. strangle the person that came up with that? No, I do. Good old Rick and Morty. What a great show! It. What a great show! <laughs> okay, well, that's all I can think of to talk about. Is there anything? Wait, else? we didn't talk about Baywatch. Dwayne the Rock Johnson is you hosting everyone, Saturday Live this weekend, he? and it's his fifth time hosting, and it's the finale. You know, every oh, single person in that him. movie bleached their butthole. Do they? Yeah, they have to. It's in their contract. Why? <laughs> Bitch, please. I am their contract. It would be funny if it was, though. You know, what? Dwayne the Rock really? and out of so everything, that's what you brought up. And Zac right Efron so like, like held hands, and they're like, "Ooh." There was what's the, what's the name of that, what's the name of that girl that's in there? Dario? So Did that, I say it right? There's a hilarious it? episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia in it. where yeah. it, it's, uh, it's Charlie and Dee meet these two people on the road. I think they're in an accident or something. It's a brother and sister. Yeah. And, 
Why would you? Why did everybody stop talking when you started whispering? That? If you don't do that, you don't just start like, whispering. Everyone is no, going to naturally you keep stop. Ta- no, you keep you talking keep because okay, it's I'm a going. podcast keep where going. people just I'm keep whispering talking. for a reason. Okay, keep going. So she's in the episode. Charlie and Dee get in an accident with these two people, and they're really rich, <laughs> the and they time. become friends, and they start seeing each other. And Dee's like drunk and like giving him a lap dance, and Charlie really likes her, but he's but and tells the waitress he doesn't love her anymore. So she was on It's Always Sunny? Yeah, she was Charlie's love interest. It was a really funny uh, hook to the show, really and Steph off. ruined it, and so did Spencer. <laughs> I I was Spencer was asking going. me to do my, oh. my Charlie Day impression. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Charlie Day! <laughs> <laughs> you need to see Horrible Bosses. He's so uh, I've funny. Seen, I've seen like a good chunk of the first movie. I love the first one. Yeah, the second one's Horrible great, Bosses too. is funny. I didn't see the second one, but I like oh, the first one. I do. I Chris Pine Charlie is in the second one. Pirates of the Caribbean yes, I have, comes I've out seen, next week. I've seen sections of the that one as well. Yep, Pirates of the Caribbean comes out next week. Uh, so yes, I'm Chris excited. I, again, that was another thing like uh, Wonder Woman where there weren't really any negative <laughs> Why is the room gone? Uh, I'm Javier Bardem. I'm saw. going to Why touch your pants gone? sensually. Oh, God. It's Javier. Early. Have you guys seen the trailer? I've seen the trailer for that like a million times. I the second too. trailer where he's like, there was this boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just every single Jack time. Jack Sparrow. 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 Was he that young when he tar. commanded the Black Pearl? Oh. No, it, that that I don't think that was the Black Pearl. Probably wasn't. I think you just we'll like see. it was oh. just a shippy grab. Maybe. I don't think it had anything to do with the Black Pearl. I want to see a young Joshimi Gibbs prequel to yes. that. that yes, <laughs> Joshimi Gibbs. Yeah, that'll, that that'll be that'll be the Netflix TV show that comes out. And then at the end, Johnny Depp shows up. Mmm. 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 Why is the room gone? So it'd be, it'd be Josh <laughs> McGibbs and the eye and the little fat guy. Yeah. They're just a, a oh, tree. And the monkey. The and, the monkey. and the monkey. Man. There's As a Netflix the idea okay. right there. Arrest Disney. Development's coming back for an actual season this time. Yes, yeah, season five. Not like the Roseanne is coming back. Roseanne yeah. is coming back. Season for six. A, a small really? season for that, yeah. <laughs> with with uh, So far, I think the only people signed on were John Goodman, Roseanne, and. Um, Sarah, what's her name? She played Darlene. The uh, sister. Roseanne. Yeah. Roseanne. <laughs> Roseanne. Roseanne. Yeah, well, and Everything Grace. X-Files. There's down. another season of X-Files coming really? out. I'm excited because all of those shows are really great. Star Trek and Star Trek. Well, Star Trek makes sense. They've been doing shows. Yeah, they've been doing movies and stuff. So the last show ended around 2005, I think. Enterprise oh, ended around really that 2005, late it 2006. It, oh. it ran for more seasons than I thought it would. It was like five or six seasons. That's pretty crazy. Um, Miley yeah. Cyrus has a new song called Malibu. Malibu. Me- Mealy Cherus. It's very sweet. People are calling Where her. Is the room gone? People are calling her racist for some reason. She Who? said, "Like uh, Miley Cyrus, the hip hop community she has gotten shitty or something." She like that. she didn't. Exp- if people read the interview, it didn't actually explicitly say that. She said she didn't like that there was misogyny in the hip hop community and that it was a common thing, and that's all she said. And then she released a song that wasn't hip hop oriented. And then people were like, oh, this is cultural appropriation because she was oh, do, doing hip hop, which, by the way, if you listen to Miley Cyrus before, it's not really hip hop. I mean, she did a couple songs with rappers, but that was about it. What are genres anymore? Other and than besides, that? if, you're, genres? if you're an artist, too, it's kind of difficult. Like, I, I don't understand why it would be such a big deal to switch to a genre you've already done bef- prior. Like, oh, she wasn't shitting on hip hop, she said she liked Kendrick Lamar's new song. And then she transitioned. So it was just kind of strange. I don't know. Miley Either Cyrus way, uh, I thought the song was sweet. It's not Miley Cyrus still isn't really my cup of tea, but she's Put weird, so that's good. hands up, singing my song. The butterflies, the butterflies fly away. Ah, not in so my head like, yeah. yeah. Grooving to the beat like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what my dancing you bean gift like was up to. You sound like Gingy from Shrek. <laughs> what? When you're doing oh. like, yeah. Anyway, oh, okay, guys. Drop buttons. Thank you so much for joining us for today's uh, Hubcast. We also want to send a special thank you again to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this episode of the Hubcast. Thank yes, you. thank really you. I hope you guys enjoyed it's a good and sponsor. Uh, be on the lookout for that update video. We'll still be making some regular content when we can. Um, We're going to bleach Jordan's butthole. Yes, that possibly too. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's about it. But thank you so much. Uh, sorry, the Hubcast was a little late this week. We will get on a better schedule for it for darn sure. Okay. Uh, make sure to watch darn watch sure. out for all of our personal streams and videos and all that great stuff coming over the coming weeks. Dan, end it now. 
Jedi be- uh, Bean Bear just got here. He's like, greetings! <laughs> <laughs> As I'm saying goodbye to everyone. Thank you to Jedi Bean Bear and Baby Jala and and to GK and Terrified Dennis. That was and, really and, not and, nice. Uh, what, that was very nice. What are you talking okay. about? Oh, his 